Today we'll be focusing on customizing the view control palette tiles to make programming parts more enjoyable and done in less time. I will assume the audience is already familiar with how to use the viewing palette. So we are going to start by diving right into customizing tiles, and then we'll take a look at how workflow can be streamlined. To begin, I will right click on the center of the trackball and select Customize. This is where hundreds of commands can be found. The idea is to create single click access to the commands which you will be using most often. The mouse point command will be a good example for us to get started with. I'll search for it here. So that we will not affect the existing view commands, we will use hotkeys. I'll check the box beside the word control. Now I'll drag the mouse point command to the tile at 1 o'clock. A new and descriptive picture appears. Closing this menu by clicking OK will automatically save the changes. Let's give it a try. Control click. And now I can draw some points. You can already start to see how this works. Let's try a couple more. I'll type in point dim. I'll put the point dimension onto this tile. And I'll put the point to point dimension command onto this tile. That one works. And that one works. Single click commands save a lot of time. The next part of this presentation is about workflow improvement. For example, let's say the company makes parts which resemble the part shown. Each one is a unique shape. We can develop a workflow and place commands in order on the customizable palette. I will select Reset, and I'll select Customize once again. Now I'm going to populate the tiles with the commands needed to complete this part. There's a lot of typing, so I'm going to speed up the video a bit here. Mouse point, the curve command, extrude, cuboid, subtract, draft, blending, load process list, The control keys commands are now used up, so I'm going to switch and use shift now. Opsim. Post processing. And I'll OK this. OK, good. The workflow commands have been set up for this example. Let's see how it works. I'll make a new program. I'll call it VCP7. I'll open the view control palette and the cam tiles. And just to make it interesting, I'll turn off all of the toolbars. We are going to make a part program by only using the view control palette. I'll draw some points. Now I'll draw the curve. I'm going to extrude this shape down 1.5 inches. Now I will create a cuboid the size of the stock. I will subtract the pocket now. Subtract. Now I'll make a 5 degree draft angle. I'll round the bottom edge by using a half inch blend. I'll select load process list. I'll load rough and finish 1.5 pocket. Do it.
Now we can view using OpSim. Looks good. Now I'll create some code. That was a quick example of how workflows can be set up into the palette, which can save a lot of time. Just a point about changing views. The way to get the opposite view is known to be by using the Alt key and clicking the view tile. That is still the default setting. However, the right mouse key is also set up to do the same thing. So if you use that method instead, it can free up the Alt key to be used to set up more commands. The intention of this tech tip was to show how to customize the view control palette to save time and to make programming a little more enjoyable. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local Gibbs Cam reseller. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.